Oh, you into fitness? Wrong place, right guy. I'm Scully, and this is the SoFly Zone. Everything you see here has been shot, edited, and uploaded from my phone so you can see what it's like day by day for an aspiring fitness model. So, let's go. Alright guys, so it's Friday, Friday, yeah, almost afternoon, woke up, had an ep epic breakfast, a uh, big omelet, it had uh, fat-free cheese, mushrooms, uh, some sliced fat-free turkey, um, what else was in it, some salsa, that was really good, and just made some like cinnamon toast with the sugar-free, the sugar-free, with the calorie-free brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and then like spray ham butter flavoring. And what else? Did I have anything else with it? And oh, like this chicken sausage. The sausage was okay or whatever, but uh, you know, the macros were better than the turkey sausage patties. But I think I'm going to save that um, for like maybe cutting that up and putting it in omelets in the future because it has like a little bit too much of a kick. It had like this ham habanero jalapeno type whatever pepper jack stuff in there so it was uh I don't know but we'll see in the future but um my girl wants that she's you know been watching the videos and she she's like I wonder if this you know this hit stuff will work for me right now she like does like body weight squats and you know does her crunches and all that stuff and she basically just keeps her calories pretty low I'm always encouraging her to eat more and track and stuff like that but you know not everybody Whatever, she looks good, and whatever she's doing now, she feels is enough to maintain the look she's got, so, but she wants to see if this will help things out. Um, but even if she does start losing weight from it, I think she wouldn't, she'd still be too scared to eat more than she does right now, so we'll see if that works out. I don't want her to get, like, super ridiculously, like, bony, but I think that's what she wants. Anyway, so we're going to head out to the field. I'm going to show her how to do the sprints. We're going to experiment with it. Well, you know, like I walk out 50 paces for her. I don't know how quick she is. I don't know how fast she is. So we'll probably, I'll just walk out maybe like 20 paces and see how long it takes her to run there and back and then just from there. Also, they have uh, the bleachers up there. So I might have her run up and down the stairs a couple of times so that she could do that and uh, see how it works out. So hopefully y'all find this interesting. And like I said, this is all just an experiment. You just kind of find out as you go what's going to hopefully work. And, she doesn't track her weight or anything like that, but, you know, it, see if she likes it better than what she does right now to work out in the stadium. Alright guys, so we're out here at the stadium. Um, I have my girl running around, taking a lap, just to kind of warm up. And I'm going to have her do some intervals. Uh, basically just got it set up for 20 yards. Halfway through, there's a cone. She'll run to the cone, run back, run to the final cone, run all the way back through. and. That'll be that. Right now she's stretching, stretching out, and see how this goes. So she'll do four intervals, have about a minute and a half rest in between each one, and after that I'll give her like maybe like a five minute break and then we'll do some work on the bleachers and see how she likes it. So we'll see. She has already warned me that uh, <laughs> she's not the most experienced runner, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I, in the past I've had uh, complaints, you know, when I tried to do this a long time ago when I was all about just work as hard as you can and just be satisfied with whatever results you get, that I used to um, be like a tyrant when it came to personal training and, you know, I probably would lost friends over it, but now I'm going to have to try to use some kind of restraint, try to hold that back. I want to push her and make her uh, go hard, but at the same time, I don't want to discourage her from doing this in the future. So. Like I said, we'll try this out, see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to give her a little example of how to do this. Uh, basically what I want you to do. Don't, don't run on the long part. So try to stay on the red. Yeah. You just run. Touch the line. Run. You can stop short as long as you touch the line. Speed. Ready? As fast as you can. Like your kids' life depends on it. All right. Ready? Okay. Ready. Set. Go. Come on, you go faster than go. Go. Run. Run. Get in the way with your 
So my phone ran out of space, so we're using my girl's phone right now. Hot ladies, come back, come back. How you feel? Very tired. Very tired. She felt like she said she felt like she could have thrown up, but it's only four. She's exaggerated. She's pretty dramatic. Um, <laughs> but is that something you would like do in the future? You think? Yes. All right. You think you could do more? Yeah. So yeah, but maybe like maybe we should do maybe three more. No. Instead of doing that stair stuff, because the bleachers are smaller than I thought they were. So yeah, three more. You would, I just didn't want you to get overwhelmed by the fact that you were going to do seven. So <laughs> you're almost there. You're almost there. Three more. It'll be fun. All right. Okay. Ready, set, go. Doing pretty good. Two more, two more. Got this, ready? Five, four, three, two, go. Run. Touch. Go. Touch. Go. Come on. Come on. One last one. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right, so it's the last one. You're almost finished. On this one, you're not going to stop at that cone. You're going to run all the way there, touch, run all the way back, touch, run all the way there again and touch, and run all the way back and finish. Okay? All right? I'll give you a little bit longer to rest. It's been 30 seconds, I'll give you 30 more seconds. Five, four, just, I'll tell you one, two, three, two, one, go, run, back here, back here, touch, go, come on, come on, touch here, touch, touch, go, come on, come on, you got it. And that's the end of it, guys. Just finished up my workout. Finally, the weekend is here. Um, about to head home. Well, actually, I'm about to stop in uh, this store and pick up one of those weighted dip belts. Well, if they have one, we'll see. Because I'm going out to Baton Rouge tomorrow, and I don't want to take a risk in them not having one of those belts and having to use my feet to hold a dumbbell while doing pull-ups and stuff, you know. So we'll see. But I'm about to head home. After that, take a shower, changing them. I'm gonna go try to see that movie Two Guns with Denzel. See how that is. So I'll check in with y'all in a bit. Home, I'm about to go head out to see Two Guns, and uh, that's pretty much it for the night. So I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. <laughs>